kindness is a behavior marked by ethical characteristics, a pleasant disposition, and a concern for others. It implies that other people matter as much as we do to ourselves. Kindness is both energetic and interactive. We can send kind thoughts to anyone at every moment. It can be as simple as opening the door for someone else or as labor-intensive as painting a room for a stranger. It begins in the home and expands into the community. Stop hurtful rumors and gossip. People deserve privacy and respect. Consider the feelings and experiences of others to strengthen your empathy muscle. Caring shows strength, not weakness. If you see someone treating someone unfairly, be an upstander. Do something to support the person being picked on. Learn about kindness heroes and upstanders. There are numerous health benefits that kindness offers which include how, relief of pain by kicking up endorphins, up-leveling energy, reducing stress, it brings people together in community, it provides a purpose, it reduces anxiety and depression. The Random Acts of Kindness Foundations encourages people to be rocktivists who integrate kind acts into their daily lives. They are considered kindness ambassadors who do simple things, like help someone carry heavy objects, pay for coffee for the person in line behind them, or the toll for the next driver. Practice observing the feelings of animals. Notice how they respond to your actions and notice what makes them happy or stressed. Read literature together with your child and wonder about the character's feelings and point of view. If you focus more on the children's actions, you're not alone. When it comes to children, our attention is often drawn more to the crying baby, the grabbing preschooler, or the siblings who obstinately sit on top of each other. We want to teach our children kindness and courtesy, yet the moments those are lacking often stand out more for us. That's too bad because what we focus on is what we value, and that, in turn, leads to more of a similar kind of behavior. Kindness counts in more ways than the obvious growth of morality. We are not meant to be completely independent or dependent, but to give and receive in mutual interdependence. We all seek, on some level, to make a difference and live a life of purpose. As we give to others, we strengthen ourselves. As we receive from others, we allow them to grow. Every kind act, every contribution that we make, bathes ourselves in a biochemical mixture of life-enhancing nutrients. Random acts of kindness, and regular acts of courtesy, foster the development of the higher centers of our brain. I want everyone to know that we all really, really love one another. Deep down we all love one another, and we need to get back to that. We need more of that right now in the world. That is what most of us feel.